When the company you work for goes out of business, but you want to keep it going, what do you do? Well, you form your own company. That's what five laser engineers in the Seattle area did more than 10 years ago. You know, when we started this company, it was in part we were out of work. But we also did have, uh, uh, you know, uh, the imagination about, uh, wow, I want to get some kind, I want to get useful products into people's hands. Today, Acculite Corporation is a thriving business located in Botha, Washington. Four of the original five engineers still work here, along with more than 50 others. Early on, through NASA's Small Business Innovation Research, or SBIR program, Acculite partnered with Langley Research Center to build a laser setup that could be used to measure water vapor. And they continue to work with NASA on different types of lasers that will be used in monitoring ozone levels in our atmosphere. Acculite has other government partners. Through an SBIR contract from the Air Force, the company was able to develop a unique laser for telecommunications applications. Lowenthal remembers what it was like. We said, my God, this is the first time that you could do that with diode lasers, so this has just got to be very, very important. To commercialize one of its key technologies in the telecommunications market, Acculite actually spun out a new company called Enlight Photonics. Today with the Air Force, they're developing new applications for the semiconductor lasers. The goal is to use them in medical diagnostics and in aircraft defense systems against shoulder-fired and other types of heat-seeking missiles. The firm has also been working closely with the Navy on other laser research projects, including optical powering and undersea communications. And with the Army, they've partnered on helicopter pilot retinal display development. In 2003, Acculite hired Don Rich as its CEO to help grow the company in yet another area. But one of the things that uh, I was brought in to do is to sort of take those technologies that we've been working on in the lab and sort of grow those into something that we can, you know, actually build applications against, you know, solve some real problems and, and produce some products that, you know, people are willing to actually pay money for. Although he's focused on growing a production line, Rich understands what needs to happen next. What are the applications out there for, for these kind of technologies? What are the best ones that fit with us right now? In developing its technologies, Acculite focuses on dual-use applications, something Rich says they learned through the SBIR program. The fact is, most of the technologies we have have either industrial or medical kinds of applications. For industry, they're developing micromachining applications. In medical applications, it's new methods for treating various diseases of the eyes and for diagnosing cancer. He may be the new guy around the company, but Rich recognizes where Acculite's real value lies. Any company and your growth, your assets are your people. They walk out the door every night, take care of them, and they'll take care of you. Today, with a very successful track record and a new move toward manufacturing, how does Lowenthal feel? It's going to be so much more satisfying having started this company to see us shipping boxes out the door that people really want to buy.